Coming up next, it's a lightweight bout between Dustin, the Diamond Poirier, and New Jersey's own Jim Miller. Jim Miller coming off a great training camp and feels outstanding. Jim Miller is the epitome of the hard-nosed, blue-collar fighter with outstanding work ethic. Jim Miller's fights are always exciting, win, lose, or draw. Jim Miller back in the octagon. Specialist. In every fight that you see him in the octagon, he looks to secure a limb and finish with a submission. Dustin Poirier, ready to fight Jim Bill. Our tail of the tape for this lightweight collision. Miller is five years his elder. Poya will have a one-inch reach advantage. And with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds of the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. The mixed martial artist only professional record of 27 wins, eight losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Jim Miller! And now he's his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is an ex martial artist, holding the national record of 20 wins, four losses. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, USA, the Stan, the Diamond! Eve Levine, our referee, for this Ready? lightweight collision. And here we go. Southpaw versus Southpaw. Fight scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Jim Miller worked his way inside the octagon. His striking just continues to evolve. Yeah, everything. He's a very hard worker and uh, very dedicated and focused to being the best lightweight in the world. That's what he wants to do. That's his goal. He's chipping away at it every day. He's looking to pass here, Joe. Left hand. Now he moves to full guard. Great movement on the ground. Transitions to full guard. Getting in position for an arm bar. Almost had the arm bar. Great transitions on the ground. He tries to pass here, but gets shut down. A mount, the mount. full mount, not good. Big shot from the bottom. It appears a cut has opened up on his cheek. Postures up. Miller gets back to side control. Oh, looking for his back. Oh, he's got oh, his, his back. Really good movement on the ground. Very nice sweep, winds up in his guard. Look at this, back to his feet. Nice straight left. Good leg kick. They are exchanging here, Mike. Good connection with the straight by Poirier. Nice combination. Wow. Huge kicks. There he is. Got the takedown. Now he 
He goes to side control, Joe. Nice body shot by Poirier. And he's going to try to take the back. He's got his back. From, uh, from a flattening out position when you got a guy face down. You can really hurt for a choke here. And he's free of the choke. Oh, there, there he goes. He Full mount. There we go. Side control. Good work from the bottom by Poirier. Man, he can do a lot of damage from the crucifix here, Joe. Miller gets it back to side control. He transitions into north-south. Poirier with a good punch to the body. He's back into side control here. Trying to pass there, but he gets stopped. All right, buddy, keep that ground position. Now he's got the mounted crucifix. Right. Oh, big right hand. Nice elbow by Miller. Side control here again. He's looking to pass. Half guard. Man, he's got the reversal. a nice leg kick. And here's another beautiful leg kick. And there's another excellent leg kick. We really got a chance to see some awesome action in that round. And the lovely Brittany gets us started for round number two. Jim Miller's use of leg kicks in that last round has been a major difference in this fight thus far. Those leg kicks will, without a doubt, take away some of the movement of his opponent. Those were nasty. Jim Miller is a relentless pressure fighter and brawler with an outstanding Brazilian jiu-jitsu ground game as well. Miller's really suffered some damage on the left side of his body. See if he looks for a knee. Good ground and pound. Nice Nailed right with that right hand. hand. Right to half guard. He's going to try to take the back, I think. Connected there. Oh, he sweeps. Look at his position now. He's got the full mount, Joe. Right hand. He's got the arm trap, Joe. Nice sweep. Very good movement. 
Poirier's trying to lock up that arm. Throws the other leg over the face. He's got the arm locked in. It's very close here. There's a tremendous amount of pressure on that arm. He may have to tap. He got it, he got it. Nicely done. Dustin, the Diamond Poirier, the winner by submission. An excellent job in setting up the arm bar and getting the tap. Let's check out the action on our fight replay. And one more time from this angle, we can see that arm bar locked in tight for the tap. And here we see it again. Beautiful submission victory. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 52 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by tap out, Dustin the Diamond Poirier. Dustin Poirier, your winner by submission.